All right, my name is Donna, and for the past few months, I've been mentoring Chloe. She's a sixth grader from GMS. So Chloe is curious and she's full of tenacity. So for the magic project, she decided that she wanted to program a game called Blockly.io. This is a game that she plays with her friends online. One of the things we discovered though, that this project, the game is very complicated to do from beginning to end. So we decided that we would apply real life practices such as leveraging open source projects to achieve her goals. Chloe also worked on a to-do project as an extra credit, which shows you her level of dedication towards magic. I'm going to let her take it from here. So my project to Territory and To-Do List, and Territory is a strategy video game, and I made it because games like this are really fun to play, and I've enjoyed playing them with my friends. The To-Do List is, is basically a to-do list, and they're useful to keep track of different things. My mentor is Donna, and she works at SurveyMonkey, and she's an engineer. She's also from Malaysia, and she loves to, re loves to read and travel. This is a picture of us. Some of the highlights of my experience with designing the home screen for territory, it was pretty fun to decide where everything was going to go and learning JavaScript. Some of the lessons I learned was how much work was involved in making a game because there are a lot of different parts you have to make and that's why we used an open source project. And I also learned to Google questions I had about JavaScript. I learned to use trial and error to figure out how to change colors and other things in CSS. Some of the challenges were understanding JavaScript and sometimes it can be a bit complicated. So for territory, I used node.js, HTML, and CSS, and we took an open source project and modified it because the project was very big and would have taken a long time to make. The open source project is a community-driven effort for an application or for code. For the to-do list, I used JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. I used HTML local storage, so if you restarted your browser, the to-do list would still be there. Here are some of the blueprints for territory. As you'll see in a second when I show you the videos of how it looks now, you can see it changed a lot in the designing process, but this is how it was originally going to look like. Here are some of the screenshots for the code. In the yellow writing, you can see um, the, the big box of um, text, uh, the name randomizer. So you can see all the prefixes like flying or old or dancing, and then some of the names. And then here are the screenshots of the code for to-do list. So up in the corner, you can see the home screen. It says territory, and you can enter your name and press play. And below that, there is the death screen, which you see whenever you die. And then beside that, there's a normal playing screen with the um, scoreboard on the top. So th this is the to-do list. There's a bar at the top that you can add the to-dos and then press enter or click the add button and they'll appear on the to-do section. Then you press the check mark next to them and they go to the done section and then you can press the trash can and then they'll delete. This is the video for territory. So I start off and I use the arrow keys to move. And once I surround that territory, it becomes mine. So I'm going to try and find one of the bots. As you can see, their name randomizes. This one funny turtle, this one's old Maureen, and then I pierce their line and that kills them. And I go back to my main territory for this to become my territory, so I'm heading back there now. So I'm just running this off, and in a second I'm gonna let one of them kill me so you can see what happens when I die. I'm just heading over there. And I found one. So I just go around them until they pierce my line, which they do now. And then I go to the desk screen. So this is the to-do list. So I type some to-dos here and I can press the add button and they appear at the bottom. And press the check mark. They go to the done side and I press the trash can and they go away. So here I add some more and you can also press enter and I check them and delete them like this. Thank you.